last time on Beauty Vlogger Boot Camp. Are any of you confident that you're gonna make it to the final two or be the final winner? I have no choice but to be confident. Durage is a silent killer. We all get along so well, but we're all very, very different. And today. I hope that the fact that the girls now know that I did pageants doesn't make them think that I'm some sort of a robot. We decided to work you twice as hard for this one. I'm kind of interested to see how you girls are gonna run in your heels. I'm overthinking every single challenge. We were not expecting this. This wasn't supposed to be how this all went down. 10 aspiring vloggers go head to head in the ultimate fashion and beauty battle. Only one will become the next online style guru. The winner will get an amazing clothing and accessory stash from JustFab.com, makeup from Derm Store, a cash prize, and their own series on You Look Hot. Being beautiful isn't always pretty. This is Beauty Vlogger Boot Camp. Welcome back, girls. We're here at Nigel's Beauty, and I know that your last challenge turned out to actually be a freebie round, but we decided to work you twice as hard for this one. As a beauty vlogger, one of my most requested videos is a beauty haul, which is basically where you go to a beauty store like the one in we're in today, and you purchase a bunch of products, and then you go home and you show your viewers on camera what you purchased. And by doing this, it allows them to know up to the minute updates on what products you're finding, what you're loving, what you're using, and what is in your bag. And that way, they can go out and they can buy the same products. So today, we decided to do a fun little challenge with you guys. This is one of the best and most famous beauty stores. This is Nigel's and it is our favorite place in Los Angeles. Today's challenge, you are going to do a timed beauty haul. You have three minutes and you have to match as many of these products in front of you as you can. You get one point for every product that you bring back and the person with the lowest amount of points will end up going home. Also, you must come back to the table between each item. This table will stay here the entire time, so you can come back and reference it as many times as you need to. And I'm kind of interested to see how you girls are gonna run in your heels. You can also touch the products on the table, but obviously you can't take it with you while you're looking for the products. So you're not gonna be able to watch each other do this, but Giselle, you're up first, so. You guys can head on back and we'll call you when it's time. Good luck. So good luck, Giselle. Your time starts now. My biggest weakness so far, I think, has been that I haven't shown as much of my personality in the competitions. I am someone who I'm, I'm very focused and I hope that the fact that the girls now know that I did pageants doesn't make them think that I'm some sort of a robot. Two minutes. Oh my gosh, this is so much harder than I thought. this competition very seriously and I really want to win this thing and so hopefully somehow they can you know bring in more competition where I can show my personality without being outwardly flamboyant or fake because that's the last thing that I want and I know that's not how I'm going to attract viewers at all.
and Good Giselle. Job. You can send in the next girl. If Shanice and I go head to head, I think I can still beat her. We're so different. In the end, it's gonna just be what the girls are looking for, but I think I can bring to the table what she can't. So good luck, Shanice. Thank Your you. time starts now. You can touch. Oh, I can touch it? Yeah. Can I like reference? No, you're not out. The challenge, I kind of felt like it wasn't enough time. Um, the store was huge. Another hard thing of the challenge was you had to take one product at a time. So you couldn't like shove them in your coat or like keep them, hand, like hand them together. You had to like run to the left side of the store and they were already, they were all on the like right side of the store and run back and run forth. And I think that took a long time too. Thank you, Shanice. You can Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> so your time starts now. I'm gonna say it again. The main, my main competition is myself. I know that I know a lot about fashion. I know a lot about beauty. I know a lot about lifestyle, and I know how to talk about it. I'm a host. This is what I'm here to do, and I'm here to win. to get over my nerves, I need to get over overthinking. I'm overthinking every single challenge and the biggest competition is myself. Giselle and Shanice are amazing girls. They're amazing. But I need to overcome my, my own fears. Oh my goodness, this is out of the game. Let's put it. Okay.
to be honest that none of you girls did a very good job. I definitely didn't get that right shade of nail polish, so I'm definitely going home. And um, Giselle was like, oh, I didn't get the right um, curling iron, she said, so I'm definitely going home. And then um, Rachel said she didn't get the right something or other, and she was like, I'm definitely going home too. So we kind of knew like it wasn't that good. Giselle, you would have had the highest score, but you brought back two products at the same time, and as the rules clearly stated, you had to bring them back one at a time, so unfortunately, those two products are not going to count towards your total. Rachel, one of the items you brought was not in the right color, so that one did not count either. We were not expecting this. This wasn't supposed to be how this all went down, but there was a three-way tie. You guys each got three points. It was much lower than we expected. We, we thought this would be an easier challenge. Yes. We thought the hardest part would be running in heels mm -hmm. to get to the item. Let alone finding the products. We definitely had to do kind of quick thinking and decide what the tiebreaker was gonna be. And we were really nervous. It's down to the wire. Like they are gonna have to do a tiebreaker. And I feel like when you're competing in a challenge, that's one of the hardest things to hear because you feel like you already did it. You got nervous, you conquered it, and now you just have to see how it goes. But now it's all over again. In order to break the tie, we are going to have you guys guess the total amount of what you think this haul is worth. And the person farthest away from the total is going to be eliminated. So, take a minute to think about it, write it down, and hide it. You guys have your answers? All right, please reveal them. Next week on Beauty Vlogger Boot Camp. Everybody did so bad. I almost was hyperventilating when the girls were writing down their answers. As soon as the girls flipped their notepads around, I was so surprised. We're sorry, but. I love her, we've had a lot of fun together, but I feel like she still has some growing to do. Here's your final challenge. What are your beauty must-haves? We wanna know what your three essential beauty products are. You can leave it in the comments below of this video or you can tweet it to at you look hot with the hashtag BVB.